Stage one of the Tour de France saw a surprise. Yves Lompart winning the time trial. A winner of time trials in the past, but not at this level. A first yellow jersey for the farmer son from West Flanders, beating Wat van Aert, his compatriot, by five seconds. Quick step alpha final taking the first stage and hoping to try and take the second that will begin on the way to Nubor. Fabio Jakobsen, their sprint hope, but up against the likes of Ewan Sagan and Grunewege, with plenty of other sprinters in the mix too. The rain from the day previous had disappeared, sunny skies at the start, as the riders were ready to leave Hoskiela. That'd be 202.2 kilometres on the way to Nubor, and a great belt bridge for 18 kilometres across the sea, with forecast cross winds making it a nervy day. It was an easy enough start, however. First pedal stroke seeing a breakaway go, and Magnus Court for EF Education Easy Post, one of the four riders getting in the breakaway. Two would join him from BMB Hotels in Cyril Bart and Pierre Roland, with one representative of Antomarché, Sven Eric Bistro. Three mountain classification points were on the menu. The first taken by Court. The two French riders distanced, and they'd not see the front again. Court going on to take the second climb of the day. The Danes showing their love for the Tour. Court showing his love for the mountains jersey. A celebration with 117 kilometres to go. Three climbs out of three. And the mountains jersey on home roads for the great Dane of the day, Magnus Court. A sheepish return back to the peloton for those distanced in the breakaway. But two remained up the road with 100 kilometres to go and their distance of three minutes up the road, down to 40 seconds at Kelembourg. Intermediate sprint won by Caleb Ewan. Wart van Aert, Peter Sagan just behind. 15 points for the Australian. Magnus Court would decide to return to the peloton with 60 kilometres to go, distance by Sven-Erik Bistrom. He'd go on to become the most combative rider of the day. With just over 50 kilometres to go, the nerves were building. We were on our way out to sea, the third largest bridge in the world. Bistrom caught 30 k's of nervous moments, battling for position and incidents. A mechanical incident for Rigoberto Ran, forcing a long, long chase. And once we got towards the bridge, crashes. The yellow jersey, Yves Lompar, one of several riders going down. And a chase back on to try and save the day. The expected crosswind and possible danger turned to headwind and a bit of a neutralisation. Some hard work from EF Education Easy Post would eventually get Rigoberto Uran back into the peloton. That only happening well inside the last 10 kilometres though. And after a little bit of help from Stefan Bissiger. Michael Storer profited on that work. He'd saved the day too. And then inside the last three kilometers, more crashes, more incidents. Thankfully, past that point, no changes in time, no time loss, even though the defending champion Tadej Pogacar had been caught up in the melee. He didn't hit the ground, but had mechanical issues as a result. And a smallish group would come into the final 700 metres. The yellow jersey leading out Fabio Jakobsen. Wart van Aert was up there as well. Mats Pithersen in the mix too. Caleb Ewan suffering some sort of incident, having to check his sprint with Peter Sagan going as well. Pithersen was the first to the front in the headwind sprint. Wat van Aert held it almost to the line, but moving up across the line on the throw, Fabio Jakobsen putting a happy ending to one of the horror stories in recent years in professional cycling. In the Tour of Poland, he almost lost his life. 2020 meet 2022, a happy Jakobsen back to form in the form of his life, actually, and winning for the first time on debut. A stage of the Tour de France. Jakobsen beating Van Aert. Bonus seconds for that second place Belgium though meant that he would take the yellow jersey. So Jakobsen making it two stages out of two for Quick Step Alpha Vinyl. Another stage win 
but the yellow jersey passing to Wat van Aert. Wat van Aert second again and moving up onto the podium as the leader of the Tour de France. His lead just one second over Lompart. Pogaccia remains in third. Same time for everybody involved in the crashes. GC pretty much unchanged. One more movement with Pitherson moving above Van der Poel into fifth. The third and final stage in Denmark will see the riders leave Vela and head towards Sonneburg. Two categorised climbs, one intermediate sprint and another nervous day, probably ending in a bunch sprint finish. 182 kilometres are on the menu for stage three. The Tour de France already showing nerves, already seeing incidents. Join us on stage three for more from the biggest bike race in the world.